your good friend of mine. Um, and it looks overall an excellent player. And really not a character we see every day in New York. Absolutely. So here we are starting here on uh, PS2 for our starter. Already VB getting in some of those low aura combos that we've seen so often. Great use of the aura sphere to catch the jump from ledge there by Solar Beam. Solar Beam looking to get something started right now. Great use of that. Uh, Ridley up smash. It doesn't matter where you tech. You're getting hit by it. Yeah, it covers really all the platforms in the game in terms of the ones that are like above the floor um, completely. And you can even get tech off of like get up attack, things like that. Um, and really is very, very good at doing that. Great tech chase character. Fast, obviously does have heavy syndrome without actually being a heavy, which hurts his character archetype a lot, but overall a really solid character. Yeah, kind of an odd hybrid of, oh jeez, those, uh, Vivi is so good at those um, Aura Sphere charge confirms. Just one of those things that you really need to have at the upper level of Lucario play. Yeah. Getting used to those really unorthodox combo starters. Yeah, the, the, the charge startup to Aura Sphere is really, really good. Um, obviously, it's a great combo starter, and especially with the more aura you have, uh, the, the excellent it is. And if, the, again, the big issue with Ridley here is that kind of a little bit of combo food, especially against Lucario, who is actually a pretty strong combo character um, outside of being able to kill, but a nice utilization of that back of there kept cap, cap, cap the stock for uh, Solar Beam. Absolutely. Something I've noticed uh, from playing a bit of Solar Beam in the past is Solar Beam is so good at catching those sort of lazy options. You know, the options that you would think players would uh, would take. But, you know, Vivi no slouch before. We've seen how tricky his extreme speed can be and how tricky a uh, confirm into that back air can be, getting Solar Beam second stock off the board. Yeah, and the unfortunate case there was that Solar Beam was drifting back after jumping from ledge, so it was holding out, which meant the DI was really not great. Uh, mm -hmm. Allowed really to die probably a little bit earlier than he should have to that back air. I like that by Vivi, just knowing when the combo is over and just walking away, waiting for Solar Beam to put himself into another situation where Vivi can come in and really start pressuring with that Aura Sphere. Ooh, okay, coming back from ledge. Again, Vivi's ledge tripping here is really excellent. That Nair has a long, lingering hitbox, and it's actually like decently large, too. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be able to catch a lot of what really does from ledge. And the first mix-up coming out from Solar Beam from that ledge right there is a lot going to allow him to get back to stage, though. Right, and we talked before about how you know the Aura Sphere Charge is so good as a combo starter, but not even that. It's so good at pressuring, especially on shield or just movement, just Ooh. like that. I believe that was some B-reverse movement there by Vivi, put him in a perfect position to whiff punish that uh, Ridley side B. Yeah, some excellent spacing there coming out from uh, Vivi. Yeah, just drifted back, a little bit of B-reverse. I don't know, not even a B-reverse, just, no, just roll, a roll. roll back, F-smash. Uh, the movement there, excellent from Vivi. You know, just getting out of that space of the dash attack and being able to punish fully. Again, really dash attack is a great move. It kills super early. It's a fast burst option, mm -hmm. but it does have a bunch of lag. So, uh, going to be able to be punished by Vivi there. Nice reaction. Uh, didn't even have to shield it. Just full punish. Ooh. Yeah, and there's Vivi trying to Ooh, go That might right have been a two-frame. I think I saw the Lucario grab ledge there. Um, Maybe. And the thing, though, with uh, Lucario Nair, and one of the bigger issues for Ridley specifically in this matchup, Lucario Nair is minus two. Um, that move is safe as all heck on shield. Uh, and Ridley is a character that, while not like the worst out of shield options, especially for a big character, does not have super fast out of shield options. Uh, Nair being frame nine out of shield, and it starts in the back, I believe, is not great for Ridley. Right, so Vivi's going to get a chance to really just dance all around Solar Beam's shield, but not if Solar Beam, you know, doesn't give him a chance. Vivi already right now at 85%. Solar Beam sitting at a pretty comfortable 32 right now. Okay. Ooh, but another whiffed side B is going to be putting Solar Beam off stage. This is where Vivi has been excelling and where Lucario in general excels. We already saw that really meaty uh, Aura Sphere catching just the tail end of Solar Beam's neutral getup. Yeah, and a big miss roll read there by uh, Solar Beam might be a little bit costly. You would have absolutely gotten a stock there. Um, but right now, Solar Beam, once again, we've seen Vivi's ledge trapping is one of his strongest suits as a player, and he's going to be able to get a stock out of that ledge trap there. Um, really excellent job done by Vivi. Yeah, can't punish that up, B. Not on the time. Nope. Stream speed, one of the, just one of the weirdest moves in the game. Ooh, and that is a, that is, that, that dash tech did get quite a little bit of buff. That sweet spot is a little bit, lo uh, lasts a little bit longer. Um, okay, that's three ledge grabs. Gotta be careful here. Got two more. Yeah, we saw Solar Beam uh, trying okay. to shark through that kind of thinner right, area of the there. battlefield ledge, but maybe not biting. 
It's going to be attack chase. Okay. Uh, Vivi not able to react just in time to that. Um, however, we are still in a, good, a relatively good position for Vivi. Oh, trying to get that roll read back. Uh, didn't end up working out, though. And there we go. This is where we start to see Vivi's extreme speed mix up using that upward arc hitting right into Solar Beam. Great parry on the Aura Sphere. Okay. Vivi, you know, he's really often, I think, Vivi's strongest suit as a player is his ability to maintain space. And yeah, obviously, Confirm's always great to have. But his ability to maintain space at center stage and just kind of force you to come to him. Um, and really, once Vivi has an advantage, it is tough for the opponent to really get back into neutral again. It really is. Something I noticed uh, kind of throughout that whole last stock of Solar Beams, Solar Beam kind of spent them just above the platforms trying to find his way down, and Vivi just wouldn't let him. Okay, big F tilt there, though. Gonna be able to get uh, Solar Beam, or rather Vivi, off the ledge. Nice little wall bounce right there. That is a tough deck to do for Lucario. It was, uh, and you saw, you saw Solar Beam going for the two frame with the F tilt, but that nice little timing mix up by Vivi. Lucario's, Lucario's got those mix ups in spades. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, and Vivi is, is just not interacting whatsoever, which is what you want to do for Ridley. The rare Ridley down air going to be able to take that stock, though. Uh, that is generally considered one of the worst back down airs in the game, but it's going to work out right there for Solar Beam. A great bait using the movement there, getting Solar Beam to roll to the left. Solar Beam now on potentially his last winner's stock. Okay, and Solar Beam recognizing the DI out there. Vivi going to be able to tech jump that um, in there, though. Get him out of that positioning and back into advantage. Almost got the air dodge read, though. Up tilt up air, though. A, a confirm for Ridley for quite some time, actually. Almost to get a Such stock, a and that parry. is going to be enough. An excellent parry by Solar Beam. Solar Beam now finding some momentum back in his favor, not really taking too much punishment on uh, Vivi's entire second stock. Now Vivi back down to no aura. And that's the thing about Ridley. Such strong advantage state from this character. Um, really, uh, one of the harder characters to land on in the game, and Solar Beam kept putting Vivi in situations where he was either going to have to land on stage or land close to ledge, and that is what, um, uh, ooh, really exceeds at covering, but Vivi exceeds at covering those jump-ins, gonna get caught there, um, and Vivi's gonna go, oh, and win 2-0 over Solar Beam. Absolutely great stuff. Ooh, and a nice little air dodge in there. We get him back to the stage. Did that Nair tried? is so big, and a jump read by Vivi can be enough. Very similar to sort of those wolf jump reads that we mm -hmm. see um, with Wolf, but um, Vivi doing an excellent job of just maintaining stage that entire game. Yeah, just the movement so clean from Vivi. Nice beat reverses throughout. Is yeah, and on, on on big body like Ridley, you, you got to see like even though um, you know Ridley isn't. Again, super heavy. He's massive, right? Mm -hmm. So he is as susceptible to those big combos as, you know, Donkey Kong and Bowser and all of them, but also will just die. Yeah, he's going to be dying a good, <laughs> yeah. like, 40-ish percent earlier. Yeah, that was an excellent parry. And yeah, that's the thing. Good Lucario Uppy does have a bunch of lag, um, depending on how you land with it. If you land straight down um, onto the stage, it does have a bunch, a bunch of lag. Mm -hmm. There's a great recognition right there by uh, Solar Beam, but maybe he's going to be able to take that. 2 -0. And we have another check coming right up for us in the uh, in Slingshot versus Luigi's. Yep. So.